Introduction to Paints and Coatings Part 1 Lecture by Dr. G. Subramanian Chief Scientist Retired CSIR Central Electrochemical Research Institute Objectives To understand the definition and properties of paint Constituents of paint Their properties and functions Definition of paint Paint is defined as a unique homogeneous mixture of three major ingredients namely binder, pigment, volatile organic compounds and additives which when applied on the surface as a thin layer that forms a solid dry adherent flame after oxidation otherwise evaporation or polymerization. In the broadest terms, a paint consists of a particular pigment dispersed in a particular binder, dissolved in a particular solvent. In general, the corrosion protection afforded by a paint flame is proportional to its dry flame thickness measured by an alcometer electromagnetic induction gauge. Adhesion, the degree of attachment between the flame and the substrate. On the right side, you can see the pictorial depiction of pigment, binder, solvent and wet flame on a sur sub steel surface, dry flame on a steel substrate. So pigment, nothing but it is made up of fine solid particles, offers protection, has opacity and color. It imparts opacity and color to the paint. Binder, made up of an oil or resin. It form, it's a flame former and offers cohesion to the paint. Solvent, either organic or water. The purpose is, the role is dissolves binder and functions is reduces velocity, sorry, viscosity, reduces viscosity. <coughs> the wet flame on a wet flame of the paint applied on a steel substrate, you can see the pictorially, and dry flame on a steel substrate after getting dried you can see so there is a vast difference between wet flame and dry flame purpose of paint to avoid loss of metal due to corrosion protects the metal surfaces from the corrosive effects of weather such as sun wind rain frost atmospheric pollution and other natural elements further heat moisture gases etc the paint delays in rusting it provides aesthetic look to materials a smooth surface for easy cleaning properties of paint paint should have high hiding power or the required color and the required color it should be able to resist the atmospheric conditions to which it will be put in use the flames produced should be washable. Paint should resist corrosion. Paint should have the necessary consistency for a particular purpose for which the paint is to be used. The flame produced by applying the paint on a surface should have gloss. NB. All the requirements can be obtained in a paint by properly choosing the proper pigments, extenders, binders and their quantities. There is no set methods for doing so. Constituents of paint. Paints are variable combinations of binder, pigment, filler or extender, volatile organic compounds shortly called VOC, otherwise thinner, dryers, additives such as anti-skinning agents, anti-settling agent, plasticizers, fire retardants, etc. Binder Binders are usually resins or oils but can be inorganic compounds. The actual flame forming component an absolutely required ingredient of any paint consists of a resin and a solvent thinner. Binder is the part which solidifies to form the dry paint flame when the solvent evaporates. 
non volatile and mainly polymers of various types they are all kit epoxy polyurethane resins etc different resins form dry film on substrate in different manners all kit resins widely use binders form dry film simply by volatilization as well as by oxidation in presence of air epoxy and polyurethane resin mainly dry through chemical reactions purpose of binder it binds pigment fillers and additives together it imparts adhesion and strongly influences the gloss durability flexibility toughness binders include resins all kits polyurethane epoxy polyesters pigments pigments are finely ground inorganic or organic powders of high refractive index greater than 1.5 higher the refractive index more the light is bent and greater the opacity good opacity has good lighting absorbing or scattering properties average diameter ranges from 0.01 to 5 micron paints made in factory using dry pigments hide better than paints tinted using liquid colors you can see the pictures the left side downwards dry pigment and liquid colorant hiding power is the ability to hide the surface of an object when applied too thin the coating lacks sufficient hiding power the hiding power of paint measures its ability to obscure a background of contrasting color opacity is a film property whereas hiding power is a property of the whole paint hiding is a more general term used to frequently refer to either opacity or hiding power hiding power is also known as opacity and contrast ratio properties of pigment it should be opaque so that it may have good covering power when a coating is opaque the pigment particles scatter or absorb light sufficiently to prevent it from reaching the substrate opacity depends on two characteristic properties refractive index or i if the particles do not have high refractive index less the bending of light traveling thus insufficient hiding of the substrate the particle size particle size has also an effect on the effectiveness of the pigment as the particle size decreases opacifying ability increases should be non toxic so that they have no bad effect on the health of painter and inhabitants purpose of pigment pigment plays a major role to attain the following essential properties of paint system provides color opacity film cohesion and sometimes corrosion inhibition provides aesthetic look to the paint obliterates the substrate and previous color on the substrate if any protects the film by reflecting the destructive uv light widely used pigments white lead zinc oxide titanium dioxide red oxide carbon black prussian blue chrome yellow aluminum powder etc titanium dioxide is extensively used because it has good covering power Titanium is an excellent reflector of infrared extender filler non expensive commonly natural inorganic materials added to the paint in order to increase its volume in fact the refractive index less than 1.5 extenders are mainly inorganic substances and do not provide color to the paint but added to improve adhesion is of sanding and film strength as they are cheap in comparison to prime pigments they reduce overall cost of the paints average dye the particles is up to 50 micron the properties of extender fillers do not provide color 
lower optical properties that is reflectance opacity etc it improves adhesion if extender pigment added or of needle shape or flake shape the settling may be very little purpose thickness thickens the flame increases volume paint flame thickness reduces cost of the paint imparts toughness abrasion resistance and texture control consistency widely used fillers calcium carbonate gypsum ground silica parrots state slate powder french chalk china clay asbestos silica mica whiting etc volatile organic compounds thinner liquid used for viscosity adjustment for correct application used to dissolve the binder and to facilitate application of paint solvents are usually organic liquids or water not a part of the paint flame excessive thinner dulls the color and gloss most hazardous due to its toxicity and flammability once the solvent gets evaporated the remaining paint is fixed onto the surface purpose control flow and application properties act as carrier for binders and pigments help penetration into porous surfaces used to clean brushes and other painting tools widely used thinners turpentine oil distilled pine tree sap the most commonly used thinner benzene and naphtha are substitute mineral spirit acetone carbon tetrachloride ethyl alcohol dryers depending upon the nature of the solvent and film thickness the drying process may take as long as several hours thicker the film longer the drying time if the drying process is artificially accelerated there may be problems with adhesion between the protective film and the metal surface metallic salts of lead manganese gopal etc of organic acids easily soluble at ordinary temperature added in small quantity one dryer should be used at a time added to the paint just before use purpose to accelerate the drying process example lead acetate gopal octate manganese octate litharge red lead lead octate manganese dioxide zinc sulfate etc corrosion inhibitor a compound which prevents corrosion by forming a metal oxide layer the surface become passivated purpose to protect the substrate from corrosion commonly used corrosion inhibitors are sodium molybdate zinc molybdate the figure on the uh, right top side gives you an overview of the role of an inhibitor the inhibitor is adsorb on metal surface thereby protecting the metal from the electrolyte or the environment in which it is exposed or submerged likewise the the figure the right side bottom gives you migrating corrosion inhibitors form a protective layer on the surface of the embedded steel reinforcement additives additives are small amounts of different chemical substances improving or modifying the paint properties added to a paint in amounts 0.001 percentage and less than equal to 5 percentage and have a profound influence on physical and chemical properties of the paint prevent clustering of pigments surfactants such as poly oxyethylene ethers of dough diesel alcohol example c12 h25o in bracket ch2.ch2.o bracket close six times h molecule is added to attain compatibility of different material in the paint system the figure on the top right side gives you silicone additive for paints inks and coatings the figure on the bottom right side gives you coating additives for deforming wetting and rheology 
Additives Dryers accelerate the paints drying, hardening by catalyzing the oxidation of the bind out. Plasticizers increase the paints flexibility, durability and compatibility and minimize flame cracking. Fungicides, biocides and insecticides prevent growth and attack of fungi, bacteria, insects. That is protect the paint in storage from spoilage due to bacterial growth. Flow control agents improve flow properties. Tea foamers prevent formation of air bubbles entrapped in the coating. Emulsifiers or wetting agents increasing the colloidal stability of the paints in liquid state. Further, additives, UV stabilizers provide stability of the paints under ultraviolet light. Anti-skinning agents prevent formation of skin in the can. Adhesion promoters improve the adhesion of the coating to the substrate. Corrosion inhibitors reduce the corrosion rate of the substrate. Texturizers impart textures to the coatings. Anti-freezers help to withstand exposure. Pigment stabilizers improve, improve pigment stability. Fire retardants properties anti-settling paints and coatings what is the difference as facility and property managers your job requires you to make decisions on when and how to maintain upkeep and improve the look and performance of properties you are responsible for occasionally that involves paint or coating so what is the difference between paints and coatings it is an age-old question really, what is the difference between paint and coating? Okay, maybe it is not an age-old question, but the reality is that there is a difference. And as experts in this industry, we should like to help you understand exactly what difference is. So, so that you can make the right decision for your properties. Simply put, paint is for aesthetics and coating is for performance. See below as we go into some greater detail. Paints. The main purpose of painting anything is to improve the aesthetics, that is the look or beauty of something. Paint can be applied to a variety of surfaces using many different application techniques. While there are some protective qualities that come with painting anything, that is not the real purpose of paint. The result of applying paint is for any surface to temporarily look nicer, look more vibrant, appear cleaner and seem newer than it did before paint was applied. Coatings What paint cannot do is where coating steps in. Perform Coating is paint with purpose. The end purpose depends on coating system that is decided upon. Like paint, coatings are applied to a variety of surfaces using many different application techniques. Here are a few examples of the performance of a coating system can provide that paint cannot. Color retention, flexibility and elasticity, waterproofing, water shedding, breathability that is permeable, rust and corrosion contaminant and prevention, self-cleaning, antimicrobial. Coating can be paint. But paint cannot be a coating. The difference is performance. If you only want to make your property look better for a short time, maybe you are preparing it to sell, then paint might be a better short term and cost effective option. However, if you are interested in protecting the asset for many years to come, then a coating would be better solution. Thank you very much for watching and listening this video.